Okay, physiologically beneficial diet pill. Phenylethylamine makes people feel as if they're having uh, thrilling romantic feelings. It's almost an amino acid. It's really similar to the amino acid phenylalanine. Now, you can group together two or three or even more amino acids to mimic a drug, even a single amino acid, because they sort of group up together and electrical charges move around. So what I think they should do is they should take two or three amino acids and create a phenylethylamine mimicking chemical that can pass the blood-brain barrier. Then they would link this using what's called a linker molecule that can be enzymatically divided. It's linked to adrenaline. So the adrenaline molecule is linked to the peptide that mimics phenylethylamine. Thus, the adrenaline makes people alert and excited and want to eat less, while the phenylethylamine mimic peptide causes people to feel as if they're experiencing uh, romantic feelings. Thus, the person eats less, feels great. Glucosamines are supported in the scientific literature at reducing arthritis. Thus, an arthritis cure may be to halogenate glucosamine. Halogenation of molecules makes them 10 hundreds or even 700 times more effective physiological. Thus, simply changing some of the hydrogen atoms to add glucosamine uh, creates a drug that uh, minimizes or cures arthritis. Technology of awesome music listening, as well as reducing any harm to people from hearing loud noises. Well, think of regular headphones. You could have something like a little laser pointer with a photo detector aimed at the eardrum to make sure the headphones were always just at the right angle to make the eardrum vibrate with just the perfect frequency response. So you'd get some of the most perfect frequency response possible from headphones. Yet there's also an application that keeps people from experiencing heart to their hearing. Because what you can do is you can use uh, the anti-nodal noise blocking effect, which is, uh, you may have seen uh, headphones available that reduce the amount of noise that people hear. Basically, what you do is you use the uh, laser pointer with photo detector thing to make sure there is a complete absence of eardrum vibration by creating a sonic anti-node right at the eardrum. That uh, makes it so that people's hearing uh, is always preserved. That uh, there are better kinds of batteries being produced, yet the batteries that I'm aware of uh, at the start of the 21st century could be made to recharge more quickly as well as have uh, greater power density uh, with a few modifications. Um, one is to use a um, second source of electromagnetic radiation to drive the chemical reaction uh, the preferred direction to recharge the battery, like a um, lithium metal, lithium ion battery the radiation absorption characteristics of lithium metal are so different from lithium ion that it seems possible that um, some kind of radiation would be preferentially absorbed with lithium metal or lithium ion, such that um, the endothermic or exothermic uh, direction of the reaction could uh, favor more rapid recharging. Now, Another approach is I've uh, read that uh, nanoparticles, or perhaps slightly larger microparticles, are beneficial to battery recharging. Now, I think that um, you could sonically vibrate these uh, nanoparticles or microparticles to cause um, electrolyte motion which has been published as uh, actually causing batteries to recharge faster. So along with the electrical charge, you would also use um, some kind of sonic-like uh, wave radiation to vibrate the nanoparticles. Now, I don't actually know the size of the nanoparticles. Otherwise, I could look up the uh, actual suggested acoustic frequencies that might
sunlight makes them vibrate. Um, yet it's possible that uh, THZ radiation is somewhere near the uh, right frequency to get certain sizes of nanoparticles to vibrate, thus uh, making the electrolyte recharge more rapidly as well as more completely. Have you made out with a girl or woman lately? Go make out with a woman or girl. Yo! Everybody, you ought to know. Your tablet PC or your laptop that has Wi-Fi integral to its construction, hardwired to the CPU, those are compromised. Uh, right now, I'm actually talking on a handy phone where, at a distance, the batteries can be made to run down via the Wi-Fi or via wireless. I've also seen another phone where the apps can be installed, uninstalled, or deleted at a distance, wirelessly. So how can you actually have anything remotely approaching application or file uh, integrity with a tablet PC or any kind of PC where the Wi-Fi chipset is physically integral with the CPU? Well, during ancient times, uh, there were jumpers on PC boards, and you could move them around to actually physically change the uh, areas of a PC board that were connected to the CPU. Any laptop maker that, or tablet PC maker that actually makes a jumper to make Wi-Fi functional and places it perhaps even on the outside of the tablet PC or laptop will actually get uh, tremendous economic support from those people who would like to have private data or uh, non-interfered with applications. Let's face it, a penguin lacks sufficiency to get around this because uh, my personal knowledge is of a handy phone, as well, actually two kinds of handy phones, that use wireless to modify uh, files as well as battery life. So uh, the answer is obvious. Put jumpers at uh, tablet PCs as well as uh, laptops. Now, I can't imagine a kind of weird uh, hobbyist pandering where on the very outermost trace of a multi-layer circuit board, there is an obviously labeled trace which can be physically modified to remove the automatic integral Wi-Fi connection to CPU, which can be easily uh, perhaps switched from software or outside. So I can imagine a modifiable circuit board if somebody wants to make that for the hobbyist. Genetically engineering. It's the duty of every human being every person who can comprehend language or believes that they can comprehend language, every entity that can comprehend language or believes it can comprehend language, to terminate the human species as rapidly as well as painlessly absent from patient awareness as possible. This is a technology to terminate the human species. People can be given bacteria that cause cancer. Now, these bacteria are absent any detectable harmful effect to the human being until the cancer has metastasized sufficiently to be lethal. Thus, there is an absence of symptoms of bacterial infection as well as the possibility of repeating bacterial infection constantly uh, every few days, every month, every year, throughout the person's life, uh, perhaps starting at birth or earlier as a fetus, such that the person develops a lethal cancer that would kill them, preferably after less than two or three months' time. 
Now, one approach to that is to have the bacteria make restriction enzymes that code the changes which are published as causing a variety of tissue sites to become oncocytes. The restriction enzyme basically cleaves the DNA of the host creature at particular locations along the genome. If those are specifically at those areas where published single nucleotide polymorphisms are capable of causing oncogenesis cancer, particularly those forms which are metastatic. Then producing those restriction enzymes causes the creature to be much more likely to develop cancer. Also, the bacteria can produce uh, short amino acids which contain the specialized codon which causes oncogenesis. So the restriction enzyme produced causes cleavage of the host animal DNA, while the bacteria also produce matching DNA fragments which contain the nucleotide or nucleotides necessary to cause oncogenesis, preferably metastatic oncogenesis, throughout a wide variety of tissues across the body. Now, further, to make this bacteria more carcinogenic, yet completely absent any symptoms to human beings. Recently, uh, progenitor sites have been made to uh, be creatable from many different kinds of differentiated sites. And I believe that I've read uh, the publication in Science or Nature that says that just three or four uh, different genetic sequences that can turn uh, any kind of site back to a progenitor site, which is capable of producing a wide variety of sites. Now, progenitor sites artificially stimulate the creation with this bacteria with the same restriction enzyme as well as DNA fragment technology, uh, create a rapidly dividing hypermetastatic form of cancer uh, to kill the organism as rapidly as possible. Now, I emphasize killing absent sensational awareness. So we ask where even if this kind of cancer can kill any kind of mammal or perhaps any kind of creature with bone after less than a month or two after the initial bacteria infection, where is the absence of sensation or awareness that precludes the people or any kind of creature feeling the cancer? Have the bacteria make a neurological poison that destroys uh, the ability of the nervous system to transmit information. That way, there is an absence of sensation or awareness even while the metastatic cancer is occurring. Now, there are other approaches to this, and I would like to describe further approaches to this, which actually make the person happy and feel pleasant while they have cancer. Uh, yet I was reminded that perhaps those ideas had been uh, from a different source than my own mind. So as people look at this technology and create this technology, which can be ethnically implemented on specific ethnicities, developed as a weapon of defense or offense, uh, 
capable of defending any nation's borders from uh, other persons of a different ethnicity than the nation has, which provides a reason to develop this, along with the human duty to terminate the human species as rapidly as possible. I urged the further research, uh, also emphasizing that this disease must make people happy. Now remember, the idea is that the bacteria is basically undetectable because it is symptomless or possibly even beneficial to the person, uh, perhaps producing vitamins or something like that, or uh, making the person slightly more social so the bacteria is transmitted more rapidly. The thing is, though, is that the bacteria causes the cancer, causes the lethal cancer, affects every human being, killing every human being on Earth. Uh, those who seek to uh, kill a wider range of creatures, to kill all forms of Earth life that have bones, would do well to create a metastatic form of bone cancer that can be shown to affect a wide variety of organisms. As a biological weapon to terminate all predator species, as well as all human beings with a Y chromosome, use this technology, use many technologies, use this technology as well. The condensation cycle of when water forms little droplets typically with the passage of night and day on any kind of cool surface, creates an opportunity for bacteria to grow. Some bacteria have uh, reproductive times of near 20 minutes or perhaps even more rapid. Make it so that these bacteria uh, carry large amounts of antigens, things that produce antibodies, to the proteins at the Y chromosome of human beings, as well as, specifically, those proteins that are associated with the Y chromosome of predator species that vary from those of human beings. This would have the effect of creating a, a kind of microscopic dust which would sterilize all of the predator species when they were going to have a uh, Y chromosome fetus, thus killing in a single generation all of the predator species. Uh, human beings, of course, with technology could continue to reproduce as a female-only species, a species with ovaries able to bear live in their Now, to make this uh, technologically stronger, looking at the source of water, the condensation cycle, it may be possible to create uh, peptide sequences, that is, proteins with a quaternary structure or a tertiary structure, which, uh, when they group up together with their actual uh, as functional structure, cause a large concentration of hydrogen atoms, or protons, at one spot creating an artificially raised pH at a particular point. This would permit them to glom on to almost any surface and cause uh, basically uh, vegetable fluids to accumulate and be accessible there so that the bacteria would have something to live off of. So this is a kind of super moss or super lichen that could colonize any leaf surface while producing these antibodies to the Y chromosome to terminate every person with a Y chromosome and to make, to terminate every species with Y chromosome, as well as uh, killing off every predator species with Y chromosome.